Hello and welcome. Right now we'll show you two examples of two-step word problems that you can use Colorcade for. These particular lesson ideas feature emojis. As a reminder, you can access emojis by opening a text box and either typing the name of the emoji in between brackets or by pulling up an emoji keyboard and simply selecting the one you'd like. This is Sadie, and this is Patsy. Patsy needs $11 to buy a movie ticket. Sadie has $8, so she gives those $8 to Patsy. Now, Patsy has $11. But if Sadie gives Patsy $8, and then Patsy has $11 now, how many dollars did she have before? Now, we know that there are $11 total here, so we'll go ahead and put $11 in a single text box up on the page here. We should also start typing in our number sentence and filling in what we know. Because we know that in the end we have $11 total, we have equals 11. And from the beginning, we know that Sadie gave 8, so we can put an 8 in front of the equals sign here. We have 8 equals 11. But 8 doesn't equal 11, does it? They're different numbers. We're missing something in between 8 and 11 there. Patsy already had some money before meeting with Sadie, but we don't know how much. That's our mystery number. We can type this number sentence out as 8 plus question mark equals 11. We need to find out what the mystery number is. Next, we'll look at our $11 here and we'll figure out which of these dollars came from Sadie. Sadie gave 8, so we're going to go ahead and click on Sadie and add more Sadies to this text box so that we have 8 Sadies all together. Now that we have 8 Sadies, we can click on our text box and drag it on top of the other text box that contains the $11. We can resize it and line it up so that 8 Sadies cover $8 perfectly. Pro tip, you can use the layer tool right over here to bring your currently selected object up on top of other objects. Now that we've done that, we can see how many are left over. Three. If 8 of the 11 came from Sadie, then the other 3 must have come from Patsy. Therefore, Patsy had $3 before meeting with Sadie. 3 is the mystery number. We can place 3 Patsies over the $3 to demonstrate this clearly. We'll insert the number 3 into our number sentence from earlier, replacing the question mark. Now it's 8 plus 3 equals 11. Which is a true statement. Here's Sadie again. She's back. Here's the story. Sadie brought 30 slices of cake to a bake sale. She sells 9, and then she makes 28 more. How many slices of cake does she have now? Sadie has prepared 30 slices of cake to sell. The easiest way to put 30 slices of cake up on screen is to open up a text box and put 10 cake emojis and a line inside one text box. Now that we have a line of 10, we'll use that copy tool to make two more lines of 10, and now we have three lines of 10 pieces of cake that we can arrange in a stack. And now we have 30 pieces of cake. Now, pretty quickly, she sells nine of them. We can show this by making a text box and putting a line of nine dollars inside it and lining it up with nine pieces of cake. After she sells nine, she goes ahead and bakes 28 more. To make 28 cakes, we can use the copy tool again to make three more lines of 10 cakes and then arrange them down below, separated from the others by a plus sign. We can take one of the lines and simply delete two of the 10 cakes. Now right here if we count, we can see that we have 28. Now, to solve our problem, we're just going to count all of the pieces of cake that haven't been sold. By my count, Sadie has 49 pieces of cake. 
Thank you for watching and best of luck to you. For more videos, you can check out colorcade.com.